Hello everyone, my name is Ashutosh Sabarwal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a wireless mesh network using 2 Draytech Vigor AP903. Before this, let's first try to understand what is Wi-Fi mesh technology. Wi-Fi mesh technology is a plug and play technology used to easily configure a Wi-Fi mesh network. It simplifies wireless bridging of wireless access points to provide extended coverage in a network. The mesh route is first configured, then up to 7 mesh nodes can be added to form a Wi-Fi mesh network as shown in the diagram. Meshing provides the optimal path to an access point adding redundancy and reliability. The self-filling feature of the mesh technology ensures an alternative path will be built in the event of uplink failure, ensuring continuity of Wi-Fi services. Currently, Wi-Fi mesh technology is supported only in these devices but more devices will be added in future. Let's first start by looking at how to configure a mesh root device. Before configuring a root or a node device in a mesh network, make sure all the devices are restored to factory default settings. There are three ways to configure a mesh network. One is through quick start wizard. Another is to manually configure through Draytech user interface. And the third is through Draytech wireless app. Let's configure it through Quick Start Wizard. Connect your AP903 with a laptop or a desktop and then open the browser and log in to the access point using its default IP that is 192.168.1.2 and admin admin as username and password. Click on Quick Start Wizard and select the operation mode as Mesh Root. Give a name to the group. And click next step. Enter the Wi-Fi SSID name and password. If you wish to enable second Wi-Fi, you can do this by enabling this checkbox. This Wi-Fi setting will apply to all the node devices in the network. If you like to change the default admin username and password, this can be done from here. But keep in mind that this will also apply to all the nodes in the network. Before you hit finish, go through the configuration settings. After hitting finish, the access point will provision itself and will start to look for nearby access points to add them as a node in a mesh network. Select all the access points which you like to be a part of mesh network. Give them a name and hit apply. This shows root device has successfully provisioned the node device. To check for the recently added mesh node device, click on Mesh and then on Mesh Status. The device with hop count 1 is the recently added device. The green indication means the device is ready. The yellow indication means the device is being provisioned. And red indication means the root device is not able to communicate with the node device. Let's now look at how to manually set up a mesh network through Dritech web user interface. Log in to the access point and go to operation mode. Select mesh root and click OK. It might take few seconds to set up a device as mesh root device. To see if a device is set up as a root device, we need to select mesh status under mesh. Check for the link status which should show connected. To configure a node device, go to mesh setup and click on search under add mesh node. This search will list down all the available access points. Select all the access points which you would like to be a part of mesh network. Give them a name. And hit apply. It might take few minutes to 
provision the node device. This shows the node device has been added. To verify the node device is synced with root device, go to mesh status. If you have multiple access points configured, you can isolate them with the device name or the MAC ID. If you wish to change the Wi-Fi SSID username and password, you have to make the changes in the root device. Once done, you have to go to Configuration Sync under Mesh and check all the options for which you like to distribute. Like in this case, we changed the SSID for wireless LAN 2.4 and 5 GHz band. When you hit Apply, the modified parameters would be synced to all the nodes in the network. The new Wi-Fi SSID should reflect on all the node devices. Let's discuss the last option to configure the wireless mesh using Draytech Wireless app and it can be downloaded from Android and iPhone App Store. The first step is to connect to the Wi-Fi of the root device and for that we need to click on Quick Start Wizard and enter the SSID and password to join the network. Once you are connected, select the operation mode as mesh root, give a name to a group and hit next. If you like to change the Wi-Fi SSID, this can be done from this option. Important thing to remember here is that the same SSID would be synced with all the devices in the mesh network. You also have an option to enable the second Wi-Fi, which can be done from here. This option allows you to change the login credentials. Remember, these credentials will be synced with all the devices in the network. Check for all the settings and hit finish. Join the new Wi-Fi network as we changed the Wi-Fi SSID. Once you are joined, the application will search for all the node devices in the network. So make sure all the access points are powered on. It might take a minute to search all the APs and will populate all the search devices. Select all the APs which you would like to be part of mesh network. Give them a name and hit next. Once you hit apply, all the parameters will be synced with all the selected node devices. This shows the added node device and you need to hit finish to end the setup. If you wish to check for the added device, click on devices option and it will show you all the node devices with their hop count. If you wish to get the information of internet speed, use the speed test application as shown in the video. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website www.dridec.com.au or you can even email us at sales at